Hey, I just want to show you how I was able to solve the problem of two-factor authentication setup on my Samsung phone. Hey. I recently got this Samsung Note 20 Ultra and I was trying to set up a new Samsung account on it so that I'll be able to use the Samsung services because without the Samsung account, you can't really utilize a lot of the amazing features that this phone has, which of course I'm going to make a video about. So make sure you subscribe to this channel to get that. But I'm trying to set up that Samsung account. I've already created the account using my Gmail account, entered my details, but it was left just the two-factor authentication which required sending a code to my phone number so specifically i had to select the country and then i had to select put in my phone number of course without the first zero and then i'll get a code to um, activate my full account and without doing that two-factor authentication even if the account was created on the web or created on the um, created actually was created you cannot really activate the Samsung account on your phone. So I went online, searched different forums, checked YouTube channels, um, YouTube videos, and nothing. Some people said we should clear catch and uh, restart the phone. Some people say clear the data on the Samsung account, uh, Samsung account application on your phone, and then restart the phone. None of those things worked for me. I even went ahead and chatted Samsung support from their website um, for my region, which is Africa. And I'm, I must give them kudos that for such a big company, they actually are responding. They have customer care pers personals or customer service people usually around to respond to your messages promptly must give them kudos for that and other companies other phone manufacturers should definitely take a clue from that but definitely they should is the right thing to do right so i chatted with the customer service rep for about an hour maybe 30 minutes to an hour but still there was no solution so the reason why i'm stating this thing is so, so that you understand the steps i took before coming up with a solution so while i was still chatting with with the customer service rep and checking online for different solutions that were suggested by different people it just clicked on my head that okay maybe this is from the region maybe the server because it kept coming up with this server error try again later maybe the server in my region was the problem all right in african region was a problem or maybe the company has a, a, a an issue with the service uh, internet or network service providers in my region so i messaged a friend who is in the uk and asked her to kindly allow me use her phone number to receive one-time passcode um, an otp from samsung which she obliged obviously she trusted me so um she gave me the phone number i put it in selected uk put it in and immediately i hit that proceed button the otp was sent to her in the uk and she sent it over to me i entered it on the platform and that was it the two-factor authentication worked as you would expect it to to work so um, what i did was after that i now went to i want i logged into my samsung account so there's actually an option to add an additional phone number this time around when i now added my nigerian phone number it worked i, I got I got a, an SMS, sorry, I got a, a message on WhatsApp actually from Samsung containing my OTP with which I registered the Nigerian number as my second number on the Samsung account. So if you've been trying this and it's not working out for you, be sure to try using a phone number from another region entirely. Maybe before you do that, you could try using phone number of another service provider but i did that i was using mtn in nigeria but i tried using airtel line 2 it didn't work so i didn't want to keep uh using different other networks so i just had to use a phone number that is uh, a foreign phone number and i was able to do this so um for people who don't have somebody abroad that you can um, collect their phone number or who trust you enough to give you their phone number to do this there are services online that you can there are services online that give you access to um be in your country in any other country you are 
um, for me, I'm in Nigeria, for example, and then get a foreign number. It could be a US number, a UK number, a Canadian number. I believe that this process will work if you use a phone number from maybe any of the European countries, or UK, Canada, or any other country. Um, so try this out. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know how this worked out for you in the comment section below. And um, the other suggestion that some people gave was to clear the catch on the, even the, the Samsung customer service representative suggested that you clear the uh, catch on your Samsung account application. You will find it in your apps. And then when you enable, enable to show system, system applications, it will show you Samsung account. So you clear the catch on it and then you try um, restarting your phone and then try it again. I'm not sure it's gonna work for you because that did not work for me. I had to come up with this solution and I'm sharing it right now. So if this solves your problem, please hit that subscribe button, like this video, share this video so that more people can see it. And remember to support this channel however you can. If you wanna donate to the channel, if you wanna um, um, share this video, if you wanna subscribe, if you wanna buy me a coffee, I really appreciate that and check the comment the description panel i should provide links to some of these applications where you can get um, where you can be in your country and get a foreign line activated so that is it for me guys today um i hope this helps someone out there as usual i do this kind of videos when i come across tech issues i create a video like this for a solution whether it's encoding or me making my let's talk tech podcast my name is anatu of Anatu Tech, and if you're just meeting me for the first time, remember to follow me on social media handles at Anatu Tech, and remember to share this video and like this. Um, I'll see you on my next video. I'll see you next time.